full awareness that this is the playground in which we get to create How do we, how do we help others like move from that moment of, of planning, being fully immersed in that planning, and then not that there's a next moment, but in the next moment, if you're not planning, then you're not still stuck with your plan. But we have the ability to create, and there are, uh, there would seem to be principles or suggested best practices or whatever that sort of seem to govern this realm in which we get to play and create in order to see maybe that plan come to fruition. Um, is that is that okay to maybe structure one's uh, creative realm in order to see that end come to pass? But, oh, but see, I think for some people that wouldn't be great because they're not able yet to make the distinction and, re and see it for what it is. And yes, we're playing, but if it doesn't, they aren't attached to it, so it could disappear or not materialize or whatever. They're not, you know what I mean, like attached to it. Um, but yeah, if we want to see something or if someone wants to see something materialize, how would we speak to structuring? toward that or do you just plan and then you really just let the next moment unfold and if that plan materializes great or not is there a well you asked if it was uh, if there is a uh, um, I can't remember how you worded it. I think you said something about it. Is it, um... I don't think you said is it wrong. I can't remember now. It doesn't matter. Um... There's not, there's not a, a right way or a wrong way to, to, to play. And... The, the problem is when you get stuck in an idea of who you are and then you always think that you you and those like you must do it this way and then we start to you said help others we start to encourage or coach others to do it in a very similar way and so I think that is um is not necessarily benefiting benefiting them because they're they're really lost in in the playground they they're not that they they don't see it as a playground if you've recognized the world and all that's in it and that it's come out forth it's come it's come forth from you so it's not separate from you it's come forth from you the playground has come out of you it didn't um, there's not you and then the playground so when you when you realize this now you can you can absolutely play and fill and create and and if part of that is planning or you know, preparing for something so that it will come to fruition then then that's fine but the important thing is that you're realizing the truth because the moment what you said was really important because you said there there are those that aren't attached to it. If you're atta attached to something that is not, what are you? You're also under the belief that you are something that is not. Something that has no real existence, an illusion. And so this is what most people, most people are planning and preparing and when that thing doesn't come to fruition, they're hoping and when it doesn't come to fruition, they're crushed. They're very disappointed. And, oh, it didn't work out. Oh, um, you know, things just never go my way. And, um, and the truth is, they don't even have to plan or prepare for them to be crushed by a future event. 
Yeah, the car breaks down. Oh, things never go my way. They weren't preparing for that. You know. So, I wouldn't get stuck in the personality. I wouldn't get stuck as the avatar for very long in that you think that it has to be done a certain way or this way or that way. Um, and that's that. That's when you begin to once again forget who you are. Mind takes over. All the little person things that uh, the ego loves to loves to have and loves to claim ownership of begin to rise in that place. And uh, and instead of it just being a role that the avatar is playing and functioning and now it's become serious it's become this is me and I'm now we know this happens when I'm starting to try to label the avatar when I'm labeling the form when I'm um, worked up or anxious or worried about the form now now I've taken it too, way too seriously now I've I've missed who I am I've missed the divine essence that I am, and in and in that place, I uh, it'll never go right, and even even when it does, it'll fall apart. And when it falls apart, uh, the beautiful thing is that we we we, we created uh, this world, and in such a beautiful way that it is impermanent. That. So that we could always be reminded while we're playing in it that it's not real. And so even in those moments when we've forgotten, I am quickly reminded. And even that's one with us, and the impermanence of this world is one with us. There's neither duality nor non-duality. That's the thing. I, I know I often talk about duality and, and singularity, but the duality and non-duality, du duality and singularity don't really exist. I'm only using those words to communicate something. You're that, you are that which is beyond all of that. God is not singular. It does not have a single eye. God does not does not just have one you know uh, non-dual purpose just is you can't communicate that through singularity with the word singularity or with non-duality you can't communicate that we're doing the best that we can but you can't and what I'm saying is for you to think in terms of duality or non-duality, you've already missed the essence of who you are, tr truly who you are. So instead of recognizing that this world is, um, this is not a separate world, you are one, you're, you're in the breeze right now, you're in the trees and little chipmunks that are playing all over the place, the cute little suckers, and the squirrels jumping back and forth, and I was watching Two little chipmunks chasing each other around earlier. I don't know what they were doing, whether they were playing or fighting, or what they were doing. But they were. I wanted to get in on that game, but they always run from me. <laughs> um, but it came forth from us, and uh, the more that that is realized, the more. Not only is does that thing that is impermanent no longer move you, but you you now move that which is impermanent and so in that you can of course you create and play um, the vast majority of what people are creating within the the playground is is not even impermanent it's completely illusionary We've created an entire system of illusion the vast majority of what people want to create is typically centered around money that's a complete illusion. So, it's fine. Just need to realize what it is. 
so you're not swept away by it. Thanks for watching our video. Give us a thumbs up, comment, thoughts, questions in the section below. Let us know what you want to hear from us. Subscribe to our channel for more life-changing content. And as always, check the section below for our website, for live events, where we'll be, what we're up to, more about us, and our online school website is listed below as well. We love you. We're glad you're here. We want to hear from you. We're in this with you.